Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 14 for our 40 gate firewall series. So in this video, we are going to learn how exactly an app control works in 40 gate firewall. Okay, so in this video, I am going to cover what is application control, why it is required, how we are going to configure it in 40 gate firewall. And also I'll be covering the practical explanation with troubleshooting of application control in 40 gate firewall. So if you are watching this video till the end, you will be able to understand what is application control, how, what is the use of uh, application control in real time scenario, how you are going to troubleshoot it, how you are going to co configure it. So I'll highly recommend you to go and watch till the end. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, now first of all, we'll, we are going to understand what is application control, okay? Now why we need an application control in our organization? So if you think about the user trends, which is moving to application, basically what I'm trying to say is the user traffics are going basically to the application. Now, if I talk about any messaging app, it's a, one of the biggest app is WhatsApp, right? If I talk about any social networking, it's a Facebook, right? For video, we have YouTube, right? So all the traffic, which is the user traffic are moving to such kind of application. If I think about the drive, OneDrive or any other application, right? So the user traffics are moving to application to if if I want to have a control inside of our organization, if you see this diagram, so this is, let's say this is our company network. Okay. And this is our internal network. So the users will be using the application. We should be having control of that, right? Then only we will be able to control what exactly the user can access and what exactly they cannot access, right? So for that reason, the in the firewall, the FortiGate firewall will provide the flexibility to give a control on the application, what exactly it is, it can use or what it cannot use. So basically an application is a platform. For an example, if I talk about Facebook, right? On Facebook, we are running chat, right? We are running games. We are running videos, right? So we should have a control on this traffic, right? So that is the reason they came up with the solution, which is called as application control in Fortigate Firewall. So if some user is using an Facebook, they will be using only the Facebook, not the chat, not the games, not the videos, right? Whatever it is required for a user, let's say some user is using Facebook for marketing purpose, they cannot use the chat or whatever the access we need to uh, we need to give uh, we can give that access right now basically how exactly this control works in this FortiGate firewall FortiGate firewall understands how exactly an application works from user machine to facebook right so he understand the pattern what is following between the user machine to the facebook right so he checks that pattern and it identifies that okay uh, it's a facebook and according to that whatever policy that we have configured for that particular application whether it has to be allowed as a base whether it has to be allowed for the chat whether it has to be allowed for a post something like that so that will be allowed in fortigate firewall that that kind of control we will be having it right so this is very very important guys uh, to secure what kind of or to have a control what kind of traffic which is going outside of or, or your organization or externally which is uh, what kind of traffic that is returning from the uh, outside to the internal network right so this is important and now we are going to see how we are going to configure this okay this is very very easy you can configure it uh, with the few clicks you have to create a policy i will tell you so let's move move on to the lab and i'll show you how we are going to con uh, how we are going to configure it okay so friends let's move on to the lab now so this is our lab okay so 
it's a very very simple we have got inside a user which is nothing but our test pc okay and this is our management which is locally connected to our pc and this is outside this is going to internet so we'll be applying app control over here okay and from the user machine we'll try to access and we'll see whether the application control is working or whether the uh, FortiGate is going to block that particular traffic or not okay we'll see that so friends let's get into the console of FortiGate firewall so this is our dashboard as you can see for FortiGate now uh, we have already done the initial configuration as you can see the IP address is already configured the LAN IP the outside IP the management IP already configured okay so we'll directly go to the security policy and application control and by default we will be having three profiles one is block high risk default and wi-fi default okay so we are not going to use the default we'll be creating new so to create a new you just click on this plus sign okay so just click on that and you will be getting a new application sensor so how exactly it works you just give a name for an example i'm just giving as a test okay now we have a lot of categories okay and if you want to see what is there inside of this collaboration category and if you see the signatures you will be able to see all those signatures which actually fortigate understand so if you want to do a filter based on some of that for example i if i want to do do on based of microsoft so as you guys understand that link and office 365 portal online one node so it understand all the applications okay whenever you click on any application okay it gives you a description about it what protocol it uses what is the http and what is a it is a browser browser based what is who is the vendor uh, the the summary of that particular application so it gives you a lot of information about it okay so for an example if you want to block for now i just wanted to block some specific application so that we can test it off okay so for an example i will just do it on okay so i will do it youtube okay so i'll just click okay maybe i'll go with google okay and i'm going to select for an example okay youtube you tube okay so if i click on this i am going to block this okay i select it i use this signature and i'm going to block this okay so how i am going to, if you want you can block the categories as well or if you want you can add some kind of for an example right now the video and audio is allowed okay it's in monitor state okay now i want to specifically block the youtube so i have to add the signature in application override and i i need to put an action for that particular application okay or else what you can do is completely if you want to block you just click on social media category whatever there in this uh, signatures whatever application there in this everything will be blocked by default okay so i'm just adding i'm just blocking the social media like facebook with twitter and all those things and also i'm blocking the youtube okay now once you click on this so friends i have already created this application sensor name as test now what we have to do is we have to go and call this particular application sensor into the policy okay so to create a policy we have to go to policy as object ipv4 policy will create new okay so this is uh, for an example i can put a name for a uh, right now is a test okay right now as you can see it's port 2 and port 3 so inside it is coming from port it will be coming from port 3, 2 and it is going to port 3 right now the source will be all destination will be all i'm not blocking anything so schedule will be always and services will be all okay now i have to nat this one because i am going to internet that is the reason i'm using the nat functionality over here and after that we have to click on application control now application control we have to choose as test which we have created just now for ssl inspection i'm not going to talk about right now 
later in the upcoming videos i'll be talking about ssl inspection how exactly it works okay and for the logging purpose we'll log all the sessions and we are going to enable this policy we'll click ok and we are done so how easy it is as you can see over here okay let's get, get go to that pc and we'll test this connection okay so we'll click on this pc and we'll open this pc and we'll try to access from the browser whether we will be able to access anything or not so friends now we'll try to access google.com and then we'll see whether the google is working or not so i can see that the google is working we'll try twitter.com okay so it's a part of social networking we'll try to access it whether it's working or not we'll see so i can see the secure connection failed now we'll go to the logs and we'll see whether it is getting blocked or not so we'll go to the application control logs and we can see that twitter is getting blocked over here okay so this is how basically the application uh, control works in fortigate firewall okay and this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you like this video hit the, on the like button if you have increased your knowledge please put it on the comment or if you have any feedback you can put it on the comment as well as you can send me a message on facebook instagram or you can send me an email whatever you want thank you so much for watching and if you want a part two for an application id please comment down below so that i can prepare for application id in detail manner and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next